Hi friends, and welcome back to Olotita. I'm Krista Shirley, and today I want to bring you a little inspiration for your week ahead. I want to share a quote from Quote Box today, and whatever quote finds us, may it be beneficial to our week. Today's quote is by Harriet Beecher Stowe. When you get into a tight place and everything goes against you, till it seems as though you could not hold on a minute longer, never give up then. For that is just the place in time that the tide will turn. I hope that hits home for you like it does for me. Never give up on what you believe in, what you stand behind. You. You deserve happiness. So keep persevering towards the right thing in your life. And don't stop until you have it. For some of us, it might be as simple as freedom. Maybe for you, it's abundance of a lot of money or that new job or that promotion or that pregnancy or finally really being able to let go of someone you lost to COVID-19 or any other way or anything that you're working through or with right now. Never give up. The only way out is through, guys. And I do want to introduce you guys today to, <clears throat> okay. So we'll be talking a lot more about Esther Hicks. Um, so you may or may not know much about Abraham or Jerry or Esther Hicks. Jerry did pass away, but Esther is still alive and she channels Abraham and she speaks a lot of the vortex. And this is all relating to law of attraction. We aren't going to go into a conversation today about the concept of a vortex, although we will talk in depth about this more because your vortex is your place of creation. And it's another way of looking at things, right? It's another way to perceive things, but essentially inside your personal vortex is all that you desire, all that you wish to create. And it's a very safe space. And only you go in there and only you know what's in there. And she is a wonderful and powerful speaker on, uh, you know, empowerment in spiritual practices and spiritual path work. And anyway, she's amazing. <laughs> I'll leave it there. But I will start to read and, and read out some of these cards. I do not remember. It's been a very long time since I got these as well. I don't know if they're still carried or sold. Okay. I can transform my own world. Make lists of positive aspects. Make lists of things that you love and never complain about anything. And as you use those things that shine bright and make you feel good as your excuse to give your attention and be who you are, you will tune to who you are and the whole world will begin to transform before your eyes. It's not your job to transform the world of others, but it is your job to transform it for you. A state of appreciation is pure connection to source, but there is no perception of lack. Always be positive. Work with your tools because you are beautiful and you are perfect and you are worthy and you are wonderful. And I celebrate you. And I so cherish the time that we spend together. Tell me in the comments below some of the tools that you're pulling out of your toolbox this week to work on your journey towards wholeness. I'd love to know. And I wish you a beautiful day ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste.